So they actually dropped the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC early, and I didn't play it early because I decided to check out the new balance buffs and play Buff Baby Daisy to try and beat my Sherbetland PB. It took me four hours, and I still didn't do it, so that means the buffs won't fix me being bad. Like and subscribe! But yeah, uh, I don't think there's any mechanic changes this time from what I can see. It seems like they mostly just did balance patches. From what I understand, I'll, I'll just go over through these for a bit before we get into the tracks, but... Oh yeah, and we got Birdo. Hello. So I think these balance patches are kind of interesting because what they did was that if you are not one of the big heavies, like the ones I'm showing on screen, you're in luck because your main just got a speed, one point in speed and one point in mini turbo. So they got buffed. Admittedly, it's a very minor change, so I'm not sure how much it'll do for now, but I feel like these minor changes are going to change time trials a lot because I noticed the baby Mario group got a speed and mini turbo buff compared to baby Daisy and baby Peach only getting the speed buff. So they might actually be better for time. I'm trial. <laughs> Yeah, so you know what? Let's play, uh, let's play Buffed Baby Luigi today. Yeah, so all of the top tier stuff, uh, they were unchanged, and all the other non-viable vehicles got an extra point in mini turbo, I think. I don't think they got speed, I think it's just mini turbo. Yeah, so all the vehicles and the tires that aren't the top tier stuff got a boost in mini turbo, which I think is cool to close the gap between the top tier vehicles and the other vehicle combinations, while at the same time not gutting any currently world record strategies. The stuff where Baby Daisy was meta might change a little bit especially at the top level so that's actually interesting i'm not sure how i feel about that specifically but you know what daisy got a buff and i think that's a win personally and we're not playing daisy we're playing baby luigi on the prancer the roller and the cloud glider we're gonna try out the new wave of tracks i'm really excited to try out a bunch of these i've already seen a couple clips on twitter already that i will talk about when I get to them, I guess. Uh, but first, let's look at Tor Amsterdam Drift. So this is probably the Tor course I am the least familiar with in this wave, I want to say. It'll be interesting reacting to this for the first time live. Well, maybe second time. Let's see what this new buffed Prancer and buffed Baby Luigi can do. And I'm already off. <laughs> and there's this train. Cool. We got like a Daisy Hills-like area. There's a little section. Let's see where this takes us. Okay, cool, cool. We got some grass cuts and I am off. So I guess the lab mode is just going to be the experimentation. Who knows if we're going to see any quick lap changes. Why is my... Okay. <laughs> I wonder if I disabled my map while I was doing a time trial grinding last night. <laughs> this underwater section is really cool, actually. Hold up. Yeah, I'm got Whoa! Hold on, that's kind of sick. I went the second lap already? Oh my god, I didn't realize. It's a bit bland, but I think the scenery's kind of- Oh, wow, that was a short lap. Entering the final lap, there is the uh, road tram, I think that's what that's called. That's a blue. Oh, I can see that coming. Oh, hello. Nice. Optimal. <laughs> I still got first out of that. Oh, oh, this is the final lap. How did... Okay, so this is like a short and sweet track. Uh, okay. I kind of like this one. The underwater part was super cool, just like going up and down, and I like the, the riverbank. But there wasn't too much to see there, admittedly. I don't know if they could have added like fishies or something down there, but... Like cheap cheeps. They're called cheap cheeps. Riverside Park, I'm gonna bag, because I want to see something. You see that gap there? I'm gonna jump over it. Or at least try. <laughs> Okay, I did not get the item. All right, let's try and let's try and get one of these. Hell yeah! Oh 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 oh. Okay, hold on. It was the thought that counts. Oh, no one's getting this. I'll take it. Oh, and they restock on them. That's cool. Oh wait, this bridge got a sick. Oh, and this is another short one, I guess. I guess because this is a mushroom. Co uh, this is a mushroom cup track. But I'm not getting any mushrooms here. Come on, game. Let me try the gap cut. <laughs> is this? Okay, this is off-road. I didn't know if it was, like, uh, mud in Choco Island. Well, I guess this is Riverside Park, not a SNES track. So, I don't know why I thought that. I'll take that. You. Oh, it's Birdo! It's the newcomer! Oh, and it's Baby Mario! Oh, wait. No, Baby Mario, you can have that. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, Dry Bowser can take it. Sorry, Birdo. Welcome to Mario Kart. Okay, huge. 
Okay, they did block that, unfortunately. Okay, I did time my mushroom a bit weird, but I stopped. Though maybe it's uh, a picky hitbox, like it is uh, for, uh, what's it called? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, Snowland also has a picky hitbox for shortcuts, so maybe it's like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, this is so close. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, what? Did that Tui just die? Okay, it was cool. So far, we're getting a lot of short stuff, though. DK Summon, on the other hand, shouldn't be very short. I'm pretty sure this track is, like, two minutes in Mario Kart Wii. There's so many things I want to try out. Mainly, the double cut. Because apparently, they kept that, too. Oh, wow. Holy... I I'm actually impressed with the starting section. This looks really good. Okay, let's try and do some Mario Kart Wii strats here. Oh... I have no idea if that was faster. Oh, that was not. I'm just happy that we can finally play. Okay, maybe if you had a bit more speed. Oh, wow, that is a respawn. All right, how does this tech work? Okay, okay. That, might, that one might be doable. But I actually really like this. Oh, and that part is more open now. Oh, okay. So this part is also, like in Mario Kart Wii, where it kind of just like throws you off. But that part feels like you can low trick that easier, which is nice. Because I struggled with that a lot in Wii. Okay, that was a bit so Okay, this is definitely something I have to lab a bit more. Thank you, Dry Bowser. Very cool. Ow. What am I doing? Dude, I'm getting N64 Yoshi Valley. Holy crap. All right. Okay, I messed that up. But I'm pretty sure that strat works, and I am I want to say it's faster. So yeah, it really seems like this track is going to be a technical track again. So that's cool to mix it up. Go, 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 go! Oh, that was such a sick low trick. Okay, I don't know how to align myself into that now, though. Go! Oh my god, I made it! Let's go! We take those! Go! Whoa, 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 Ow, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Am I gonna lose? Yeah. <laughs> oh my, I just went flying like three times. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a track I need to get used to. But I like it. I like the potential. Yeah, because I felt something very similar with Mushroom Gorge where I was just straight up bad at it. And then I learned the actual techniques to play it. And then it's one of my favorite tracks in the past now. Feeling very optimistic about DK Summit's potential in the future. I I, I said it with that inflection because I wanted to find a way to lead this into Yoshi's Island. But Yoshi's Island! The brand new track! Coming to tour at a later date! But there's a lot of stuff to think about. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. Oh, it did the level start! Oh, <laughs> oh they got the little shy guys on the stilts. The coins are custom textured with their own sound effects. Oh, and they got this little castle gate thing. Oh, they got the underground! Hold up! Okay, shortcut here. Oh my god, that is a cute- And I dodged that red shell! Hold on! Okay, maybe the buffs did make me better in Mario Kart. Oh, and then I hit- I missed it, but I think that's what activates that little staircase. Okay, and then there's another grass section here. Oh, and they got the, the ending gate thing back there. Oh, wait, that's so sick. I almost hit that. I love the extra sound effects. I'm really glad that they gave that uh, special touch to that. Yeah, this shortcut seems like it'll be fun to take once I know the lining. And this remix is awesome. Let's go. I'm so hyped for this one. All right, let's see if I can hit it this time. I'm so- wait! No, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, and it takes the grass cut for you, and that's what- Yo! Thematically, I think this is one of the coolest things. Like, there's so many elements that they were able to implement into here. That was a really good bomb trap. Oh, they got the geysers here. GC and Dino Dino Jungle confirmed? Oh, the coins are different here too, just like they are in Animal Crossing. And Hyrule Circuit, but in Animal Crossing, the bells, you know, look more like the coins and stuff. Get the double. Is that Baby Mario? Oh my god, it's Baby Mario. Okay, I, got, I gotta get the shortcut. I lied. He knows it was suboptimal to hit it. I just gotta clutch it with my new speed and mini turbo stat and take it. Let's go. Oh, and they got the new sound too. Oh, I see you, Nintendo. That's kind of, okay, okay. They had a lot of fun with this soundtrack, holy. <laughs> 
and that was the fruit cup honestly a pretty fun one they start off with some two short but sweet ones not really much to say about them but they were cool sad the gap cut didn't work out dk summit seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun learning the text and yoshi's island looks super promising it's such a fun thematically faithful course but now we get to move on to the boomerang cup with a tour bangkok rush another track that i think i've only played once all right let's have a look we have the the section we have more sections we have a commentator talking about sections all right let's have a look at what bangkok has to offer oh i didn't expect this to be lap one let alone this early and then there's this section over here oh i thought these were <laughs> bounce pads oh i can go up here though oh hold on this alternate route's kind of cool and then you go down here sorry dry bowser okay and this is the second lap we're going this way Ooh, we got the little market going on over here and then a spiral going up into this okay okay cool cool and we got some crabs <laughs> they escaped from the vendors oh now we're going backwards all right but how backwards are we going okay going back into the market cool cool uh parking uh maybe not now i'm kind of in a race right now and that feels like the opposite of what a race is oh the oh my god this is a full spiral okay oh oh this is a bounce section okay and i'm going to fall off nope i was distracted by that i almost went the wrong way oh he took a tighter line oh my oh my oh my god is that gonna clutch it out that was crazy. Birdo! <laughs> my savior! <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. My most anticipated course in the past. I want to see. Yeah, I think it's in the whole past. I tried this one early on tour just to have a look at it. And they made some interesting changes. I'll go over them in here. If they're the same, at least. Oh, they're just as beautiful as the day I lost you. Okay, we got a little funky remix going on here this is one of the coolest things of ds mario circuit i love this little obstacle i think it adds so much uh flair to I, they just took the cut okay we got a little forest section oh wow they just let me do that oh and there's a sleepy wiggler oh okay so they made this a visual ramp in tour but now it's still a ramp but they just didn't put the ramp on there i'm glad they kept this standard like no crazy gimmicks or anything it's just good old ds mario circuit that's what i was worried like i was i'm well hold on we haven't seen the final lap yet who knows maybe we'll go backwards or something wiggler's not woken up yet okay, we're on the final lap let's see if we uh see any changes i wonder if the shroom spot's gonna change from instead of this one it's gonna be this four section now because there's a lot of space there oh there he is he's woken up i wonder if you can watch him wake up I'm really glad they didn't touch this one too much. They added like a lot of really cool quality of life stuff like the ramp there. Some cool elevation changes. Big fan of this one. I am definitely very biased, but it's cool. DS Mario Circuit. What more could you ask for? And don't say Airship Fortress. Next up, GCN Waluigi Stadium. I wonder if they kept the Mario Kart Wii Tech in here too. This is the first impressions video, so let's try it out. It looks like they made that turn uh, a bit more generous here. And you, you low trick less here. Tech? I have no idea if that's faster. Alright. Tech? Nope, they just removed the invisible wall. Tech? Yo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Okay, we got the trick here. Huge. Okay. These half pipe tricks are gonna be so fun. Oh! And you trick onto here to go here! Oh, wait, that was actually seamless. Hold on, let's go. Okay, okay. I'm actually a big fan with how this plays, and there's a blue. Alright, hopefully I don't get shock blued. Go! I'm- okay, I did that a bit early, admittedly. And I'm gonna get- okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I wonder if the TS spot is the same. Oh, well, they made this place so much better to drive on, or easier. Fine. Imagine. Oh, that totally hit him. Come on, game. I wonder if this strat is faster then. Did I go here? I missed the item set. You know what? I'll give it up. Big fan of this one. And last but not least, to end the wave off, we have Singapore Speedway. Now, I heard the remix in the trailer, and I am very much looking forward to seeing what they do with this one. And I also like the visuals a lot. Ooh, the conveyors. This is what I talked about in the uh, discussion video on my second channel. Hey, look at this mini map. Okay, we got some Berlin byway like splits here. Get out of here. We got a cannon. 
Uh, and I got red in. We get to drive with the Goombas here. This section is so cool. Oh, we got another glider section. All right, first lap, pretty short. Let's see. Okay, we're not turning right or, yeah, right just yet. Oh my god, thank god I dodged that. Oh, this is the Chinatown! And we got a cool new remix for this one too. Ow. Uh, oh, I'm gonna die. Dude, these bomb snipes are crazy. The CPUs are going off. Uh, glad trick. Okay, and that's trickable too. Nice, nice. Oh, and this is the final lap. Okay, so they section this. We got more of these cool little tunnels going on here. Get out of here. Glide a trick here. And we glide. Oh, we can take this spot. How much more do we have? Oh, wow. Okay, okay. This is this is good length. Honestly, I'm kind of vibing this one. We go back into Chinatown. And that's it. Honestly, I think they buried the stuff in this one a lot. There was a lot of really cool visuals to keep you entertained the whole way through. I have to say pretty good wave so far they've been really impressing me the more they make them and with the addition of new characters and good balance choices looking forward to seeing what the last two waves have in store for us we didn't get the perfect one because we choked on dk summit but it's fine and with that that concludes my first blind thoughts on the wave four courses in mario kart 8 deluxe and don't click out just yet because i will be doing a session with my friends where we will also try out the wave four tracks for the first time just like the other waves but that will also be in a separate video just like in wave three so be sure to subscribe for more mario kart content if you enjoyed this video so with that i hope you guys are excited for the future scrags mario kart content to come and i'll see you guys in the next one take care